Good evening, Crossroads Farm, and happy Mother's Day. I am doing nighttime prayer with you this evening with my mother, James Weiler, and my three daughters who helped make me a mother. Madison is my oldest, Reagan is my middle, and Lauren is my baby. Some of you know my family well, and some of you don't, so I'm happy to share them with you today. And we're all going to spend some time with you tonight praying. Um, I want to start with a focus verse from Proverbs chapter 31, verse 26. She speaks with wisdom, and faithful instruction is on her tongue. Now, men and boys who are listening tonight, you don't get to jump off this prayer time. <laughs> this prayer time is for you, too. I love the power of this. She speaks with wisdom, and faithful instruction is on her tongue. I wish that were me. <laughs> it's something that I pray for every day. God, help me to be more wise. Help me to have the things that I say be faithful and good instruction. And that's something that we can pray for one another whether we're moms or not yet moms, whether we're sons, whether we're husbands, this is an earnest prayer that all of us should have in Crossroads Farm family. I want to encourage you tonight as you go to this time of prayer with us, that you ask God to grant you the ability to have wisdom and faithful instruction on your tongue. Can you imagine if the only thing that your tongue said was faithful instruction? Oh my goodness, it would change everything. And um, I'd like to encourage you to do that tonight. Um, I've asked my mom to begin to um, lead us in this time of prayer and ask that you'll join us. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for um, the ability to come and talk to you. Thank you that you understand, and thank you for um, allowing me to be a mom. Father, I thank you for the opportunity to serve you in this way. And today I want to lift before you uh, we who have lost our mothers. Father, many different things can happen. Um, can lose your mom kind of the way I did with a long extended illness and, and you watch the dying process. Sometimes um, we lose our moms. Some have lost their, mom, lost their moms tragically, suddenly and tragically, and sometimes even violently. And that pain has to be something that is horrendous and never really goes away. Father, and then there are others who lose their moms, not because their moms are gone dead, but because they're not present in their lives. So Father, with all of these losses, whenever we don't have our mom, we feel, we feel an emptiness and we feel a hole in our lives. Father, I know that your love can heal those hurts and those wounds and fill that gap that we have. And I just pray that this evening that you will minister to each one of us as moms who have lost our mothers. I pray that we will allow your spirit to fill those gaps and to heal those wounds and then to allow us to minister to others and extend your love to others. We thank you for what you're going to do and we thank you for all that you have already done in your um, sacrificial death for us and in your resurrection and in living with us each day. We ask this in your name. Father, and I pray for all of us who are mamas right now. Jesus, um, whether we've had a good day and we feel like a uh, superwoman or wonder woman, Father, if we've had a day where we feel really guilty for somebody saying Happy Mother's Day, Jesus, um, thank you for choosing us to be moms right now. Lord, no matter the age of our kids, if they're little and um, the bath time and pajama time is sweet or they're driving us crazy or trying to figure out how to do adult children, God, I thank you for the privilege and I ask that you will allow us to be wise. Please give us faithful instruction for our tongues. Lord, I pray that we'll receive motherhood as a gift from you. Father, with gifts come some responsibilities. Lord, I thank you for giving freely, but I ask that each day we will turn this role back to you. Mm -hmm. Allow us to walk with you each day in every step of motherhood, however that looks each of our families. Whether our families are whole and incredible or if they're shattered and fractured, if they're separated during this time of COVID or if they're together, Jesus, thank you. Mm -hmm. Please do more in us as mamas. Father, help us to listen. 
I pray that each morning we wake up will be more beautiful, both inside and out. In your name, amen. Father, I pray for those that are going to be mothers and aren't yet mothers. Father, I pray um, that you will that you will continue the work that you've started in us. Father, that your spirit has already been working all this time, um, that you don't waste any time and you don't waste any pain in the past. Father, and I pray that um, with your spirit that you'll work to cultivate um, a rich and beautiful life for future mothers. Father, I pray um, that you'll bring things together to make us even more beautiful women. Father, I pray that you will continue to develop in us patience and kindness and goodness and faithfulness and gentleness and all of um, the fruits that come with your spirit, Father. All of these things are necessary to be truly um, godly mothers. And I pray that um, you'll continue to develop that in our spirits, Father. Um, we thank you for the work that you've already done in those of us that will be mothers someday, Father. And we trust in your continued work and we trust in your faithfulness um, to fill in the gaps in ways that we know will fail in. Father, we thank you for your faithfulness and we thank you for what you're going to do in your name. Amen. Have a great night, Crossroads Farm. We love you.